Okay, so I just read about this WhatsApp API multi-device version, and it's totally wild how it supports multiple devices at once. Right? It's fascinating. But what really grabs me is the idea that you can interact with AI agents using it now. Oh, wait. That's a game changer. Imagine having an AI assistant managing your WhatsApp messages seamlessly among your devices. Exactly. And they've incorporated features like sending images or links with just a simple call, which makes it super efficient. Wait, seriously? Like no manual effort needed? Just program it to respond? Yep. And you can even set up auto replies. Just think about how much time that saves. That's actually kind of scary and amazing at the same time. So how customizable is it? Pretty customizable. You can configure it through command line flags or environment variables, which gives users great flexibility. So it's like building your own miniature WhatsApp control panel? That's so cool. Right? And it's even compatible with the model context protocol, which means it can work with AI tools. MCP, that sounds complicated. But if it integrates with AI, that opens up so many possibilities. Definitely. It lets different AI bots send and receive messages in real time. It's like having multiple conversations ongoing. Oh, wow. I mean, think about the level of multitasking there. How does that even work? Well, it uses server sent events, SSE, for instant updates, so your bot can always be in sync. Let me wrap my head around this. It's like your phone is always listening for commands, but in a good way. Exactly. And it could also mean more efficient interaction with customer service bots, for instance. That gives me chills. But also, what are the dangers of that level of connectivity? Good question. Security becomes a huge concern, especially with user data being transmitted. Right. We're talking about creating more vulnerabilities. So how do they handle privacy? They include options like basic authentication for secure access. It's a balancing act. That's reassuring. But how do developers even start working with this API? It's pretty straightforward. You clone the repository and follow the command line instructions to get it up and running. Wow, that sounds accessible. But like, how deep does this rabbit hole go? Well, there's also a web interface for logging in and managing your chats, which is super user friendly. Okay, this is blowing my mind. So I can manage everything through a web panel too? Absolutely. It's designed to be intuitive for both developers and everyday users. And I guess with everything being API driven, you're opening it up for new applications. Totally. Developers can create custom solutions for businesses or personal use without reinventing the wheel. This really redefines communication. So how does it handle media send and receive? You can send various types of media, images, videos, files, using specific endpoints in the API. So it's like having a multimedia platform integrated into WhatsApp? That's genius. Right. And it could fundamentally change how businesses communicate with customers. Imagine getting automated promotional messages that are actually tailored to you. Exactly. And it can revolutionize fields from marketing to customer support. I can see this becoming the norm in five years, but there has to be a learning curve to start. For sure, but with the documentation provided, it helps streamline the process for developers. Ah, so it's possible. Okay, I definitely want to explore this more. And there's also an open source community around it, which is always a plus. That's great for collaboration. So what's the most surprising takeaway here? Honestly, just how scalable this integration is. Just imagine the possibilities for innovation. Right? It feels like we're only scratching the surface. What's next? Smart personal assistance? Oh, for sure. But wait until you hear what happens next. AI that can learn user preferences on the fly. Hold on. That changes everything. Users won't just chat. Their experiences can be fully customized. Exactly. And all this could foster a whole new way we connect. How exciting is that? I'm in. It's like living in a sci-fi story. This is the future of communication. For sure. It'll be fascinating to see where this technology takes us in the coming years. Yeah, it'll change everything from personal chat to global business interactions. And who knows? This could be just the beginning of a communication revolution. So what's the takeaway for our listeners? The potential is huge, but stay informed about the risks. Exactly. Balance innovation with privacy and security to continue thriving in this tech landscape.